Every business has some data. But how you can talk to those data? How you can ask questions and get the answers you need? Welcome to the world of queries, where we humans have to speak the language of data. In this video, we'll discuss how you can speak to your data, ask the questions, and get the answers. From understanding the basics to mastering the nitty-gritty of art and science, we will learn what the query is, how it all works, and I'll show you a few query examples. Hey there, I'm Yevgen. You are at our OXB YouTube channel where we speak all things about marketing, analytics, and data. On this channel, we help you do more with your data so you can tell the story of your business's success. So, if you are all about utilizing data, my friend, please subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss any of the insights. With this being said, let's dive right in. We'll start from the very beginning. What exactly is a query? In the simplest terms, a query is a question posed to data. Imagine you're asking your database a specific question. And the query is how you phrase this question in a language the database understands. SQL or Structured Query Language. Queries allow users to speak to data to extract meaningful information from vast amount of data, turning them from being just tables with some data, rows and columns, into business insights. Whether you are checking the status of current product inventory, analyzing customer behavior patterns over the last year, advertising campaigns, simply the seller of the teams, querying are your gateway to obtaining the answers you are looking for. Look, I worked with books a lot in the past. Imagine you are in a library you are asking a librarian to find you a specific book. You provide the details about the book you are looking for, the author, maybe a publishing house, maybe a year, and basically any details you have. And the librarian navigates the bookshelves to find that books. Exactly the same happens with SQL. The query retrieves the data you need from the right shelves in the database. By learning, understanding, and using SQL, you empower yourself to engage with data more actively, asking targeted questions and obtaining precise answers. And no, you don't have to be a developer or a data engineer to apply SQL. Check the video right here where I show how we, our free SQL compiler generates amazing queries with your content. I'll also leave a link in the description to this video. Great! Now that you understand what a query is, Let's break down the essential commands that make up a SQL query, the basic parts of the conversation with your database. Number one, select. This is where you specify what data you want to see. It's like choosing a specific type of information from a menu. You tell the database exactly which columns of data you are interested in. Number two, from. This statement specifies from which table in the database you want to retrieve the data. If SELECT tells you what to retrieve, FROM tells you where to find it. Number 3. The WHERE clause. This command allows you to filter the data based on certain criteria. It's like asking for a specific dish that only uses certain ingredients. And again, SELECT helps you to choose the columns. WHERE is used to filter the rows that meet your criteria. Next. GROUP BY. This one is used when you want to aggregate data across similar rows. For example, gathering the books by the same author or a publishing house in a library. And number five, order by. This component sorts the results returned from the query, whether you need the data sorted alphabetically, by date, or by any numerical value. Order by will organize your results accordingly. For a more detailed dive into each of these statements, as well as other important ones, check out one of my previous videos, which covers the basics of SQL querying in 20 minutes. I'll also leave a link in the description to this video. Understanding these statements will give you the basic building blocks to start crafting your own queries to retrieve the data that you need. Now that you are familiar with the components of a SQL query, Let's put that knowledge into action by crafting a simple query together with me. Let's say we want to list all of the employees in the department from our database. We'll use the employees table from our database. We'll start with a select statement to choose the data we want. 
will select employee name and their departments. Next, we use the from statement to specify the employees table. To make it more specific, let's say we only want employees from the marketing department. So, we'll add a where clause. Where department equals marketing. We'll run the query in our SQL interface and you will see a list of all employees in the marketing department. This example is a very basic introduction to query, as it's a hands-on way to see how SQL retrieves specific information based on your criteria. For more detailed examples and advanced queries, check out the link to my previous video in the description. And my recommendation, keep practicing with different data and different scenarios to become more comfortable with SQL. Now, let's explore how SQL queries are applied across various industries and underscore this role in data-backed decision-making. Sales industry. Imagine a scenario where a sales manager wants to track the performance of new products. A SQL query can help extract sales data for specific products over a particular period of time, where those products were first added, let's say, this year. By analyzing these data, the manager can make informed decisions about inventory management and promotional strategies. In marketing, SQL is used to segment customer base for targeted campaigns. For example, querying a database to find customers who have made purchases in last month but haven't yet signed up for a new service can help in crafting personalized marketing campaigns. Financial analysts often use SQL to manage and analyze large volumes of financial data. A typical query might involve extracting all transactions over a certain amount to detect anomalies or potential fraud. When the data is retrieved, it's typically visualized in a spreadsheet tool like Google Sheets to be more kind of a hands-on with data. I retrieve the data from my database using OLAX BI reports extension from Google Workspace Marketplace. Then I play with the data, create pivots, charts, analyze all of those data, and then I make decisions. I'll leave a link to this Google Sheet extension that allows you to not only query data, but also share queries with the team members, set automated updates for data within reports, and, and basically so much more in the description to this video. Look, every business user should make decisions based on data. We know this, at least backed by data. But in order to access those data, you need queries. Whether or not you are going to learn SQL yourself, going to ask a data professional to help you out, you'll anyway need a tool to work with those data. And in my experience, spreadsheet tools like Google Sheets and Excel are the best ones for this. And remember, the real power of data comes from how you utilize those data to make decisions. Now that you've got a handle on SQL queries and seen them in action, what's next? You might find a course on Coursera or Udemy, some YouTube videos articles, maybe even some of the blog posts on our website. But you know what? What is the easiest way to, to educate yourself in 2024? It's ChatGPT. Because it allows you to become the one who manages what you will learn next. If you're on the free plan, just start the chat in 3.5 or 4.0 models and go ahead. But if you are on the paid ChatGPT Plus plan, we've created our own SQL Copilot. It's 100% free, and it's perfect for those who want to learn SQL, who wants to build SQL queries, analyze existing ones, and so much more. And if your data is stored in Google BigQuery, you can even connect your ChatGPT to your database to increase the accuracy and streamline SQL generation. Link in the description. And once again, it's 100% free, it's easy to navigate, it's just your best alley when it comes to learning or using SQL. And there you have it. We've covered what the query is, its components, how to write one, and its real-world applications. I've shared with you a little tool to bring database into the spreadsheet. You've seen a great way to learn SQL and build queries. But sure, we've only scattered the surface of queries here. If this video has added value to your journey, please show your support by liking and sharing this video. Leave a comment down below if there is something specific you'd like to learn next, and don't forget to subscribe to the Always Day YouTube channel. Your engagement fuels my passion to share more insights about data and analytics. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Yevgen from Ovox, and remember, 
data always makes sense. The real power of data comes from how you use data to make informed decisions. So by next time, stay data-driven and keep exploring the opportunities your data brings in.